How's it going guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay and I got a doozy for you now, man. I had a, a subscriber of mine, Michael Inns, he asked me to just put on the CUDA and annihilate another team. <laughs> right? And you know, I replied back, I was like, well that's pretty much every single game that I do these days. I said, well how about this? I, I had just, you know, had a session the night before messing around with the mothership. I said, you know, I got a gameplay on Havoc getting a double mothership. You want to see that? And he, he replied back. He's like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see that one. I was like, okay. And of course, I, I added the emphasis on the oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so let me tell you about the game a little bit. It gets a little boring, so I have to chop it up some. Starting off with the KN44, just messing around. My streaks are high in this game. I'm playing with a Wraith, I'm playing with a Wrath, and I'm playing with a Mothership. You watch this opening streak, and, it, and if you weren't paying attention, go back and watch it. You see me work the left side of this spawn, and it, there's a little bit of an art form, you know, knowing when to fall back, okay? Especially when you're running big streaks, you don't want to lose them. You see me get some kills, move back a little bit, get a couple more kills, move back some more. I'm moving back into my spawn to get protection from my teammates. I call on that Wraith, two kills, it's out. I mean, they knock that thing out so fast. I move up to this side of the map. I'm gonna kill two guys. You guys, oh, so upset in this lobby. Boom, boom, calling my rap ship. Not one kill with the raps. Not one. I hate that streak, I hate that streak. I hate it so much. Do not wanna run the raps. And I know some of y'all get some amazing gameplays with it, but me personally, it, it ain't happening, man. I don't know what's, what's going on. All right, so I moved back up on the left-hand side. Coming up on the on the left side of A. I know when I'm this point, they're gonna spawn up top behind the APC. I'm gonna head glitch. I'm gonna pick up a few of them. I'm gonna get my mothership, and we're gonna go into the second round. Now this mothership, all right, there you go. There's a the mothership. Okay, so I just took that flag. I switched over to my dingo at halftime because of the way they were playing, camping in the back. Uh, the main reason I was running with the mothership right here is because one of the guys on my team, Big Tex 22, I've talked about him before. He gives me a lot of tips and tricks in the game. He needs some extra kills to unlock some emblems. He is the essential completionist in the game, by the way. So this first mothership right here, I think I'm going to get 17 kills with it. This does not normally happen. So for all you out there who think that after watching this, the mothership is the best score streak in the entire game, you got another thing coming to you. Because I have called in probably now 15 to 20 motherships in all different types of game modes, and they average four to five kills before they're shot down. This one, for some reason, I was killing them so fast off the spawn that they couldn't shoot me down. I mean, you can even see the health bar on the mothership in the top right and the time that I have remaining in it. They didn't stand a chance with this one. Now, the second mothership I call in, that one gets shot down extremely quick. And I was still shooting at their spawn, but for some reason, it's the hit registration with the mothership. Sometimes it's dead on me. You see how fast I'm killing them right now? But most of the motherships I call in, I'll have my reticule right on top of that red diamond that's outlining the enemies, and it won't hit them. I don't get it. I mean, I've called in motherships in TDM and Free For All, Kill Confirmed, uh, Domination, both core and hardcore. In, in some games, the, the hit registration is perfect. In other games, I, 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 don't, I just don't get it. All right, so I just popped my combat focus like you just saw. I'm gonna take this guy off the head glitch. I'm gonna kill one more guy over here. Hold on, I think I'm gonna drop down and he's gonna come up high. And I'm gonna call in my next Wraith. And the next Wraith, you, you know, here's the thing about the Wraith. It, it's all about when it, when it first enters the map. That's when it's gonna get its kills. So if you're lucky, it's gonna knock one to two guys off real fast, kill-wise. This one, I think, as it comes in the map, I think I get a quad with it. But then it's quickly shot down. There you go, one, two, and three, four. And that's about all that that Wraith gets right there. And then I get wraps and no kills. And I just skip straight to this mothership because it's just boring the way these guys were playing. And this is how a mothership normally works. All right, you guys, uh, I'm gonna end this video with an emblem creator that somebody uh, requested from me. Hit that thumbs up button. As always, if you liked it, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, so this request was from Vigo Stam. Vigo wanted to see me create one of my emblems. He really likes it, and uh, I know some of y'all may not be interested in it, so if you're not, go ahead and stop here, but I'm just gonna show him real quick how I do it. 
because I do pretty much the same emblem on every single weapon that I have, and I've been doing it since Black Ops 2. Alright, so I'm going to do the CUDA. This is on my new account, by the way. So here we go, create new. There is a tool, and it's right over here. It is the cross. And so I'm gonna get it as big as I can on here. Let's see how far it goes. All right, so it goes way out there. I don't wanna go too far out. I wanna be able to see those edges of the cross. You see the corners of the cross. That way I can, um, I can match it up. I start with the darkest blue right here, and that's it. Now I'm gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna go to my tools. I'm gonna go right back to the cross again. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna line it up. And once I get this thing going, it gets really, really easy. Let me line it up pretty well right in here. Again. And about right. Let's go about right there. Now, for this one, so you see I started at this, this side, and I'm just gonna go to the left, select it, go to the next one. And back to the tools, all the way down to the cross. And what I'm gonna do is kind of a rinse and repeat thing here. Now that I have it over there on the left, you see that edge of that blue right about there. Now I can line it up a lot better. Right about there. All right, I'm not being as accurate. So I did this one, did this one. Now I'm gonna drop down. There we go, that one's done. Again, back to the tools, to the cross. And I'm gonna keep going like this. There's only one change that I'm gonna make as I get towards the bottom of these colors. And it's when the colors start to turn purple. I'm gonna stop using them. All right, there we go. So remember, I started here, then this one, I dropped down, now it's this turn. And back over here, all the way down. Whoops, what did I do? What? All right, <laughs> I, got it, I, got it, I was going too fast for myself. All right, so yeah, you know, I was able to at a point whenever I was making them for all my weapons on my primary account, I can make one of these emblems almost between lobbies because it, sometimes it takes a little bit of time going between lobbies. The main thing is you see over there on the far left, that's where I'm kind of lining it up. And the easiest way to see what color you're on, see how that one matches up so I know to drop down and right there. And back to the tool section. All the way down here. Looking pretty cool right now. Looking pretty cool. I've seen some other designs on guns, you know, when I pick them up. They're pretty nice. I'm not going to sit here and spend hours doing it. That's that one. So that's this one. And here we go. Back down here again. A couple more of these, and then you'll see how it switches up. All right. What about right there? I think I did this one right. Yeah, because that matches. So I'm going to drop down right there. Back up right here. Line it up, line it up, line it up. And where was I? Was it this one? Oh, it was that one. Okay, there we go. Alright, almost there. Almost there. I think there's about four more. Four or five. That was looking good. That was looking really good. I love this symbol. I love the way it looks. Now, you, obviously, you know that it's a cross and why I put it on there. Alright, let's line up this color is it that one yeah so another go down okay so you see after this one the next one below that color on number nine that one's gonna be the purple one so that's where I stop on that line and you'll see why it just doesn't look right whenever they start turning purple I don't know it's weird uh, about right right there all right I think I did this color so now I know it's this one and it doesn't have to be accurate man you just get as close as you can to it because when you're running around with this gun, I mean, nobody's gonna be able to, to see your emblem. Oh, hey, look, that one that one cross is just a little bit off. All right, let's see, where's the color? So there was the color, so if I come over here, see how that one's purple, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do a drop down from there and I'm gonna finish off this whole row and that'll finish off the emblem, almost done. So there's like three more after this one and now it starts going a lot faster because the crosses aren't really that big. You're just making sure they line up properly on the left and the right of the cross. Down, down, down. So it was that color, so now here you go. And two more. So no, no crazy shading or anything. And then the, the YouTube emblem that I use, that one, you do that one real fast if you guys are doing a YouTube channel. And I, and I suggest if you guys are YouTubers, you should make your emblem the YouTube thing because no better advertisement than while in game. And almost done. This will be the last one, I believe. Which will be 
white. Just make sure on that. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll save it as create a cycle. And save, and there you go.